Welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan Guys. Today I'm showing you what I ate. For breakfast I decided to have some chili with some pearl barley that I had already made prior and if you want to know how I made this you can check out my meal prep video which I will link in the description box. So this video was filmed probably on a Saturday or Sunday so I'm pretty sure I had breakfast quite late and I guess my breakfast was kind of my brunch so I'm just having a snack slash small lunch which is just a frozen banana smoothie with I believe about two frozen bananas and some water. That's it. Very very simple but really refreshing and very delicious and healthy. So I'm just blending it up and that's pretty much it for that. For dinner I decided to make some rice which is a mix of white and brown rice and that is going to go with this Korean soup called Doenjangguk which you saw in my last few videos and it is really really yummy and this is what it looks like kind of traditionally and this is my version of it, I guess the cheap lazy vegan version and yeah traditionally it's made with anchovies which obviously are not vegan, so I'm using kelp to flavor the broth instead and that's what it looks like. And I'm also using a bit of just, I guess, wakame seaweed or a different type of dried seaweed. You can just use kelp, this is totally optional. So the kelp is just going to flavor the broth and the main ingredient that you'll need is this Korean soybean paste, which you could get, I think, very easily at any kind of Korean or Chinese supermarket and I'm also using a little bit of red pepper paste or gochujang which looks like this again you can get this at any Korean supermarket or Asian supermarket but yeah the main ingredient you'll need is the soybean paste and probably kelp if you can't get kelp then I advise you to maybe use veggie broth instead I'm sure that would be delicious as well so essentially I just took some water and added the kelp and the other type of seaweed and some frozen veggies and I'm bringing this to a boil and obviously you can use fresh veggies, I advise maybe onions and mushrooms and after it comes to a boil I'm going to add this soybean paste which I know does not look appetizing but I love this stuff. It's very very strong and quite salty so I would add a little at a time and it should look something like this once it's done. If you have any tofu definitely add that in there because it's so good with tofu and then that's pretty much it so basically you're just letting all the flavors get married and it should be very very delicious and of course I'm just having this soup with some rice and I also microwave some frozen veggies as well that's underneath the rice and I'm pretty sure I had like two bowls of this because it's so good it's like one of my favorite foods so I really hope you guys try it and find the ingredients and stuff let me know if you guys have any questions and feel free to comment down below to let me know what you think make sure you subscribe and see you guys in my next video bye bye